Orange color is a heat advisory. So if you are in the interior, if you're that, which means, you know, the Inland Empire, the valleys, in our high deserts, then you're under one of the two. And both are just letting you know that it is so hot outside that heat-related illnesses can happen a lot quicker. In fact, heat-related uh, illness and death is the, one of the more common, if not the most common, uh, uh, weather-related deaths that occur throughout any given year. So again, this is very serious, and sometimes we just forget because we have so many days of very hot weather. Triple-digit heat continues on for us, not only today, but through the next several weeks. So uh, just don't get too comfortable with the idea that it's hot and it's okay. We are going to see temperatures return to about 93 degrees at noon. For the valleys, it'll be 98 degrees, so again, heating up. But there'll be plenty of places in our Inland Empire that are going to get back to 103 to 105 degrees, especially by the time we're heading into your weekend. Uh, here's what's happening. We have an area of high pressure at the surface. We have an area of high pressure in our upper uh, elevations, upper upper atmosphere. Uh, on account of that, near the jet stream, that high pressure is really adding in a lot of heat for us, and it's growing in size. We're going to see temperatures start to soar by tomorrow, and it's really taking over the entire western part of our nation, out towards the Pacific Ocean. So, I mean, this is a big area of high pressure. It's all the way up into Canada. Canada dealing with some record heat there, too. And then here at home, we're likely to break some records, possibly getting back to 130 degrees for Death Valley. 134 is the world record that happened in Death Valley.